The president of Ukraine took time away from his country this week to rally the United States and its allies to continue supporting Ukraine. It was a busy schedule for President Volodymyr Zelensky, starting in New York City with an address to the United Nations and then a meeting with the U.N. Security Council. After that, he went to Washington to meet with members of Congress and later President Biden at the White House. Here's CBS News' senior White House and political correspondent Ed O'Keefe. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky enjoyed a warm welcome at the White House, and President Biden announced plans for the latest installment in aid to Ukraine, another $325 million. The American people are determined to see to it that you do all we can to ensure the world stands with you. But what a difference nine months makes. Last December, Zelensky delivered a primetime address before a joint session of Congress. Today, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy said there was no time for such a speech and wouldn't even be seen in the halls of power with the Ukrainian president. Zelensky instead met behind closed doors with leaders of the House and the full Senate. That's because while a majority of Americans continue to support providing assistance, there's a mostly Republican divide on Capitol Hill over how to keep funding the war. We need to give them everything they need. We should be uh, for a peace resolution uh, ending the war. They're not funding it. There are growing concerns in the U.S. and Europe about how the aid is being used. Zelensky fired his defense minister and six other deputies this month amid accusations of corruption. Zelensky also visited the Pentagon today. The U.S. has provided nearly $44 billion in military aid since the start of the war, and the White House is asking for $24 billion more. But it didn't commit today to giving Zelensky long-range missiles. Today, another reminder of why Ukraine wants them, as Russians hit six Ukrainian cities, its largest missile attack inside Ukraine in more than a month. And Ed O'Keefe joins me now from the White House. Ed, President Biden has been pushing other countries to aid and support Ukraine. But right now, it appears that Congress is fighting about whether or not to keep sending aid. Does that hurt President Biden's international influence when it comes to Ukraine? I, I asked a version of that question today, Jerika, of the national security advisor when he was briefing reporters. And he said, look, all the president has to do is sort of tell these world leaders it's politics. I'm dealing with politics around my budget right now. We'll get through it. And, and he had an interesting way of describing Zelensky's understanding of the situation. He said he's not coming here like a babe in the woods, not having any understanding that, you know, we have to work through as we approach the end of the fiscal year, funding for the government going forward. He recognizes that that's going to be contested and that there are different perspectives. But the White House is confident ultimately Whenever this government shutdown or government spending fight concludes, there will be the money there for Ukraine that's been requested, if not even potentially more than what the White House originally wanted. Yeah, and the U.S. has already authorized over $110 billion in terms of military support, humanitarian, economic, et cetera. Um, House Speaker McCarthy said he wanted accountability for Zelensky on where U.S. money was going and actual answers on a plan for victory. Do you think McCarthy got that accountability that he's looking for from the Ukrainian president? House members emerging from their meeting with Zelensky, senators, all 100 of them that met with him today, said that he got into great detail about the aspects of the war mm -hmm. and gave them some answers, at least, on what exactly is up with the aid, where it's going, how it's being spent. He said in a tweet after his meeting with lawmakers, quote, oversight, transparency, and accountability for all the aid is absolutely important. In other words, message received. Ed O'Keefe from the White House. Thank you.